Hi, Granny. Mom asked me to come and check on you and... Uh-oh, this does not look good. Not a good sign when Granny's sleeping with her eyes open. And eating canned baked beans, watching Skibbity Toilet? This is a red alert. So my mom thought that my Granny might be acting a little bit funny, which is something that happens sometimes when she forgets to take all of her medication. So I dropped by after school to see if there was anything wrong. Just have a quick check on things, you know? So it looks like Granny's been locking the neighbor kids in cages again. That is not good behavior. Don't you worry, bud. I'm going to get you out of there as soon as I can. Just need to secure the scene. Make sure that everything in the house is safe. Wow. Okay, Um, give this video a thumbs up if you think that the house might be unsafe. Option one is that Granny is struggling. Option two is that she's actually just taken up a new fun and cool hobby, and it is collecting bear traps. Have you got any cheese? Is there like a gas leak or something in this house? Because I could have sworn that mouse just talked to me. Just busting down doors to secure the scene. Well, now this is interesting. Look at these footprints. How on earth does that happen? And they're in like primary colors, but each step is a different color. If you have any theories on that one, let me know in the comment section because I am fully stumped. Oh my gosh, she's left so many cookies just lying on the floor. That's why we've got a talking mouse problem. That or the gas leak. More of those footprints leading to, oh, Granny, you're out here. Sorry to wake you up, I just came to check and see how you're doing. Is there anything you need or why are you chasing me like that? Granny, it's me, Holly, your granddaughter. That didn't go well at all. I guess I'm gonna have to evade Granny while I do the rest of my safety search. It's probably a good time anyway to make sure everything's nice and safe in Granny's backyard. She really is charging me down like a raging bull. Like, I guess on the one hand, the thundering footsteps, the dogged pursuit, it's quite scary. But on the other hand, Granny is clearly fit as a fiddle. Granny's like, moderate to high intensity exercise keeps me in great shape to pursue my granddaughter through the garden. Maybe I'm jumping to conclusions. Maybe she is not chasing me in a fit of rage. Maybe she is training for a charity half marathon. Unsure about this garden spike situation, but we'll ignore that and, oh my gosh, some very round dogs. Ooh, don't come too close. I don't know if you're friendly. I don't know if this is universal experience, but my granny seems to have dogs who hate everybody except for her. Like they're so cute on her lap, but then as soon as anyone else tries to pick them up, they like bite and snarl. So these dogs might look cute, but I am going to exercise caution. Ooh, that's a bad place to leave a chocolate chip cookie. Don't want the dog to eat the cookie. Also, don't want to get attacked by the dog. So sometimes difficult choices have to be made. Oh, now this is interesting. Looks like Granny's been setting up booby traps in the backyard. My mom's been trying to convince my Granny to install a burglary alarm system, but she said it was too expensive. I'm wondering if this is her like DIY workaround. I mean, I guess they work, but also I can Houdini myself out of those cages. So we continue. My only advice to Granny on this DIY burglar alarm situation is maybe like don't paint the X's on the ground. It kind of gives them a bit of a warning. Nothing to see here, just a cool crab in a box. It's like it feels like there's something to see, but the cool crab in the box clearly said there is nothing to see. So I'll just, I'll just let them go about their business. So my mom's gonna want me to make a list of things that I saw at grandma's house that I thought were a bit unusual and I should probably add the cookies. She hates food waste. Oh my gosh, I'm falling. Help, I'm descending. My back, my poor achy back. Okay, just kidding, head in the game. Okay, so we've got more bear traps. Definitely gonna put that on the list. So I guess my notes for mom are as follows. Number one, watching a 24 hour live stream of Skibbity Toilet. Number two, the ever expanding collection of bear traps. And number three, out of character behavior bracket food wastage. If you're wondering whether or not I'm gonna put on the list um, the underground lair full of lava, the answer is no. That's actually extremely in character for Granny. She has always loved an underground lair. Oh dang, bring up the list again. We forgot to add the kid in the cage. Oh no, a deadly spike trap. Do not go gentle into that good night. It's just like the poem says, watch out for deadly spike traps and rage, rage against the dying of the light. Okay, so we're pulling up the list for mom one more time. We're adding item number four. Trapping neighborhood kids in cages. Bracket again. I think that my mom and I might need to intervene to make sure that Granny is doing all right because I know how this could end. First, it's the neighbors gossiping about her in the neighborhood Facebook group. Then it's the health department thinking that she needs to go into a senior's home. Granny doesn't want that. She wants to stay in her home as long as possible. That's why I'm gonna pick up all these cookies and I'm gonna sort this out just as soon as I can escape from this basement. I'm racking my brain, but I don't think there's any like rational explanation why Granny has so many bear traps. Like sure, there might be a few bears around, but there's not that many bears. 
And I don't think that the bears are inside of Granny's house or indeed her underground lair. But for some reason, she just keeps seeing rooms in the house and being like, you know what this needs? More bear traps. But who knows, she could be an interior design genius for all I know. She's just ahead of the latest craze. It's like how to update your kitchen with bear traps. How to decorate your teenager's room with bear traps. How to create a relaxing yoga space in your home with bear traps. Look out for it in Architectural Designs Trend Spotting 2025. Sorry, hold that thought, I gotta catch this floating obelisk. People are always poo-pooing floating obelisks as a method of transportation, but they're actually extremely efficient. Like, I don't know how else I would have crossed that body of water. I would have had to learn to swim, chop down trees, and build a boat. No time for that. Not when I have to avoid spiky, deadly traps. At least I think these are spiky, deadly traps. They're a bit smaller. They could be like sea urchins or something. Oh, okay, so there were boats. That's fine. I got across the water just fine. I'm trying to send my list of concerns to mom, but there is terrible reception in Granny's underground lair. Hopefully I escape it soon because I told her I would send her an update. And if I don't send her a message soon, she's probably going to come over to check on me, which normally would be fine, but I need to warn her about the bear trap collection. I wonder if there's a way to gently suggest to Granny that she collect something else. Maybe like Pokemon cards or miniature tea sets. Oh, look, we're back in the yard. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. You know what? I think I've done enough checks for today. I did a welfare check. I did a safety check. I did a vibe check. The summary is things are I'm not so good. So I think I might just scale this wall, run down the street screaming, maybe. Uh oh, is that granny crying? Why is she crying? Oh no, she fell. What's happening? Hey, that subtitle's calling my grandma evil. She's not evil, she just needs to go visit her GP and ask about a possible bladder infection. Obviously, at the moment, she is trying to attack me, so I will have to defend myself. Oh no, now she's on fire. My mom is not gonna be happy with me when she finds out I accidentally set Granny on fire. Granny, I don't wanna fight anymore. What do you say to going inside, dousing your flames, and watching some more Skibbity Toilet? Look, you can even show me your bear trap collection. Your antique bear traps, your regional bear traps, the souvenir bear trap you got in Banff, Alberta. Bit concerned about the screaming and, oh no, I am not getting dessert tonight. 